afternoon, viewers. We are back again with another episode of your favorite show, Generation C. It is yet another lovely, lovely Tuesday. My name is Linela Shiteni, bringing you everything you need to know about youth news alongside my co-host. Most definitely, I am VDM. And if you're still clueless about what the show is all about, Generation C aims to empower and equip the youth through se three segments. That is, of course, the Zone School Corner, as well as the Varsity Chat Room. Here we recap what was published in the Zone, giving you all the more reason to grab a coffee on Tuesdays. Well, today, the 8th of March, 2022, is International Women's Day. So basically, it's a day to make every woman around you feel special, be it your mother, your sister, your cousin, your auntie, everyone. You can just do it like I do. I always go with compliments like, you look very stunning to me oh, today. Thank you very much, VDM. I got this from my mom. She picked it up for me. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> got it from your mama. <laughs> right after this ad break, we'll come through with the pages. Welcome back, viewers. So as promised, we have the latest edition of The Zone. On the front page today, we have 23-year-old community-centered lawyer, um, Dahambelela Haifene, who aims to educate the youth on human rights and law. As last week, if, we, if you recall, last week she was, she was here in studio with us. She shared her inspiring journey. Very inspiring indeed. And now next on page two, the zone asked what makes a woman special? Mm -hmm. And this is what people had to say. Hi, my name is Profilia Najibo. I think women are important because they give us so much love and society wouldn't be the way it is without them. I feel like women... Also on page two, we have photo of the week. We have FNB School Mountain Bike League, who started by giving away mountain bikes to the to the Ventuk Pedal Power and Rock and Roll. So on page three, page three takes us through a relationship between First National Bank and West Bank Namibia as they joined hands to make as they joined hands with the Road Safety Forum to make the roads a safer place for learners in Namibia. Furthermore, furthermore, on page three, we take a look at a school feeding program where over 13,915 school children at 29 piloting schools received fresh school meals. We move over to page four where there is an insightful feature by UNESCO pondering the destiny of education that is by Irene Marie van der Waal. A great Tuesday read indeed. Moving over to page five, we have some Afrikaans news where we focused on some schools celebrating their birthdays amongst others. Let's get right into it. Now we move over to page six, which covers the sport which was covered over the weekend, ranging from netball as well as Special Olympics. So let's take a look. <music> Hello, my name is Monique Duplessis. I was actually the first one in the morning and overall work. It was so lekker today. I was happy with the forum. The track was so lekker. All the climbing, the look of everything. So yeah, we'll see you in the next one. So this is the first cross rock and rock cross country race, the first one for the season. And it's a, a fun track, not very technical. So it's nice to start the season with a, a easy track. Yeah. So it's fast and fun. And there were lots of girls over various categories that took part. So that's always nice. So it's, it's fun. <laughs> But we are getting there, we are getting into the rhythm of things and we just hope for the best. 
Also on page 7, we have an article celebrating all women in STEAM. But before we get into that, we have, we have a short video of a star teacher, Mr. Harry Ranks, all the way from Denisa High School. Please stay tuned. My journey in the education sector started very long ago. All my family members, most of them, they are teachers. And uh, I thought of joining them. At first, I wasn't very keen because back then when I started, um, we didn't have a lot of options. Basically, what inspired me was the fact that you can have an impact on young people's lives. My motto in life is whatever I do, I do as me for the Lord. Five. Okay, anyone else? Two out of five. Welcome back to Generation C. Thank you very much for tuning in. And now the most anticipated moment has come. I'm right now joined by, uh, that is of course, a Mwatile Kapolola, who is 26 years old. He's an artist. He does everything from clothes, shoes, as well as wall art. Now, Mwatile started his passion long, long time before he knew that it was going to be a source of income. A very good afternoon and welcome to Generation C. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm very well, fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Tell us more a bit about yourself, man. Who are you? What do you do? And where do you come from? Uh, I'm Watile Kapolola. Mm -hmm. Like you said, like you introduced me. Um, I'm, I come from Kidman's Web. That's where I was born. Mm -hmm. And I lived half of my secondary life in Marenta. That's where I started with a passion. Oh, now tell us a bit more about your business. How did you start it? And what was your inspiration that really motivated you to start your business? It's the love for the work I do, man. That inspired me, the love for everything that I do, um, splashing colors around, playing with things and all that. And the fact that you don't need a brush to create uh, artwork, you, need, mm -hmm. you can use your hands, you can use a stick or whatever, you can use a spoon. Yeah, um, where I realized that this is my passion and I want to do this, it's when I was in school. During my, my, my school years, I would actually go see all my artworks in, 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 in classes or by the teachers. All right, now tell us, do you have employees or some people that help you in your business? Yeah, currently I do have since I've grown a little bit. Mm -hmm. I have now. Um, I have two guys helping me with the creative work. Uh, one is more like the handy guy, the assisting. <laughs> yeah, he does a really good job. Um, I have, I have actually. And I'm trying to work All on right. this. In terms of advertising and marketing, how do you put your products out there for people to see? Social media, man. I just put on social media. I put on my WhatsApp, my Instagram. Um, I share. I I give it all. To, I send it to other people, and then they would view and they would repost. Mm -hmm. Clients come in. Yeah. All right. So now, okay, <laughs> that's very good. Actually, uh, we are in the era of social media, and people are always scrolling and going on the net to find some stuff. Now tell us about your rates and, um, you know, in terms of your product ranges, how do you sell them, how do you get your customers, how do you go about, you, you know, just selling your products as a whole? Selling the products is a big challenge. It is very challenging because I'm not just selling one specific thing. I have a lot of things that I'm doing. Uh, mm -hmm. Some are big, some are small. So there's no fixed price. There's, okay. yeah, there are rates from the lowest to the highest that I do. What are your... IG handles, maybe it's Facebook, <laughs> Twitter. So if you want to find me, it's just to DM me on my art page, which is exclusive artworks and where. Mm -hmm. Exclusive underscore artworks underscore and where. Okay. Yeah. Before so we wrap up our interview for today, do you have any final words for our viewers out there? Yeah, man. Always, always. Um, for me, it's just to keep pushing on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You don't give up. Always be willing to take a risk. And that risk definitely will fail. Take another one. Yeah, take That's another it. one. Take another one, yeah. Always get up. All right, thank you very much for coming through. That was Mat Mwatile Kapolola, who is an artist uh, straight out of Ventil. We'll now continue after. with, uh, that is, of course, our school corner.
Welcome to the school corner. Now, to take a look at what has been happening around the schools, we go back to page three, which has over 13,915 school going children at 29 piloting schools who were able to access fresh school meals, which were sourced locally from smallholders. Guys, please do remember to always keep sending us such great content so that we can share it with everybody in the school corner. Yeah, boy, yes. All right, uh, in more school news, we go back to page 7 on uh, the zone, which sees Harry Ranks, a high school teacher from uh, Danis uh, High School. Side. We will see you at Varsity Chatroom. See you soon. <laughs> happening in Namibia let's see what our varsity students are up to well on page eight we have a story on the resumption of face-to-face -face learning face-to-face oh, -face learning my favorite I genuinely feel that face-to-face -face learning is mm -hmm. way better than online learning don't you think definitely <laughs> like you have to go on campus mingle with your friends indeed, see those indeed, friends you that you missed and also, you just get to engage with your lecturers, Indeed. man. Indeed. Oh, that is so lovely. But furthermore, our varsity corner belongs to Melani Osi, a 21-year-old female from Rundu, who is currently pursuing her studies in pediatrics at the University of, of, of Petro Savatsk State, State University. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. But shout out to everybody that goes, that goes to, to Petro Savatsk. <laughs> so she sent us a little video of herself. Let's have a look. Everyone, my name is Kanjore Melanie Osi, a 21 year old from Namibia, Rondo, currently studying in Petrozavod, Russia. I'm studying pediatrics and this is my second year. Um, I chose pediatrics because I love working with kids and I've always wanted to be part of the health sector. I think coming to Russia was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Okay, it hasn't been an easy journey, like I had to learn the language in order for me to be able to understand or be able to speak to these people and in order for me to be able to attend the classes. But apart from that, I think it has been a great experience. Um, I've learned a lot. I've gotten to meet people from different parts of the world, learning new cultures and just learning how to adapt to a new environment so if you feel like you want to study abroad then you should definitely go for it sadly we have come to the end of yet another fire episode of generation c but that just means that you guys have to join us again next week same time same place well time flies when you're having fun right stay awesome we'll see you next time <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>